We don't even get a peach interlude. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Awesome. Now we can open the thousand year door. Oh, but we still don't know where Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rogueport, right? Professor Frankly can maybe help us find Princess Peach. Okay. Um, well, we have two options. We can either go straight up to the teleporter, or we can come down. Because now, we can go into Tech's room. Where the heck are we? You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I, I'm the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. I, I'm so sorry. Most of my data was e erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory it's trying to stay operational. Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach. Please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. But, backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. Princess is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There's barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what'll happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I'm just a computer, just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you for me. We got it, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. Tech system failure reported. Gonzales, that tears it, man. We just gotta save Peach. For tech, too. And even the music shut off. Oh, no, it's back. Huh. So... That's really interesting. Tech said he'll release the room lock. So, was it a bug? <laughs> Did I glitch the game? Did I access teleporter room early? Next major speedrun, teleporter room early? Um, well, real quick, I want to go back to the boss fight room. And now we get to redo this puzzle for the eighth time, but this time in red. Now I see that it's red on the bottom and top. I know. Whoosh, 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 battery low. Okay. So you can freely just come right back in here. And there's not much to do. You can't even get up onto the stage where he was. Um, but let's take a look at what Grimbo has to say about it. This is where they built Magnus von Grapple and Magnus von Grapple 2.0. But there doesn't seem to be anything here now. Nope, let's go Mario. So, all we get is a little bit of lore that both were assembled in this room. And to get out, because the conveyor belt only goes that way, you just come up here. Oh no, I messed it up. Oh, no, that's fine actually. 
There we go. Okay, now uh, leave here for real. Uh, I believe all the x knots have evacuated, so if you miss their tattles, then uh, sucks to be you, I guess. It's possible that they will be in Professor Frankly's house, but who knows? Um, it's this room, right? Nope. Oh, also, I believe that the crane game stops working after you beat the chapter 2. So, if you haven't got your stuff by then, then you are SOL. Which means shoot out of luck. Peach, goodbye. Whoa, you hear something just then? Um, yeah. It doesn't react whatsoever. Apparently, it doesn't work. So, um... Tech, uh... I guess, uh... Nuked the base. Well, if it isn't Mario. Over here, son. You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talking to my good ear. The x not fortress was on the moon? Ah, uh, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Sure was, but the x not boss took her and took off to the Thousand Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago I smelled some rank air when I went to the Thousand Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. What? You said that the door wouldn't open without the seventh crystal star. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Well, sorry, but uh, we've got other things to do. I need you to take something to General White, please. Oh no, I don't want to do this one right now. <sighs> but I guess so. So, Gonzales, how did you enjoy your cannon ride, huh? I'd like to go to the moon and look for some investment opportunities, but enough of that. I need you to take this to General White immediately. I think General White is back in Far Outpost now. It's a bit far, but I know you can handle it. Well, can't I ever. Um, hey, Cannon... <laughs> cannon will not have fired until day we have been waiting for comes. <laughs> yeah, the big day, huh? Um, okay. Hello, General White. You're not General White. Ah, huh? General White. He left this morning. Well, pow. Da, da. He uh, said he was going to see Cola Bartender in Rogueport or something. Okay. Da, I mean yes. Niet, I mean no. Hello. General White? Yeah, I spoke to him just a second ago, actually. We're old buddies, he and I. I've known him since he was a little snapper that would explode over any little thing. But again, I was the kind of guy that would bonk people for p smiling funny. Still, he turned out to be a fine bob -omb, Though he never cured that wanderlust. And I'm sure he said he was off to Glitzville next. So I go pretty far with the guy that runs the juice shop there too. So give him my best. Okay. To Glitzville it is. Oh hey, Luigi. 
You look a little familiar. We might as well clear out some of the things we don't have with all the money that we do have. So, let's pick up... Do we have first attack? Probably not. Uh, that's all that. Uh, we are missing P up D down P, but we'll get that later. We need damage dodge. Uh, pretty lucky P. Hmm. Uh, whatever this one is. We do need super appeal. Okay. Get damage dodge. And let's also get pretty lucky P. And super appeal. So that fills out our badge list quite nicely. Only missing three. I'll double check what this one is later. Oh, it's uh, FP drain. Where do we get FP drain? Do you? S it's right here. Yes, I'd like this. Good. Oh yes, we're also going to get Super Luigi Four, putting us under a hundred coins. So we we've been spending. Hello, I'd like to talk to you about General White again. He pounded three white chocolate coconut mochas and bolted. He drops in every once in a while. Hey, you... and you know that lady in the back black dress? I think General White has a thing for her. But that's just my gut talking there. She's darn cute, after all. Guys come in here for more than the juice, I think. Hey, and just between you and me, one of her admirers is Rock Hawk. Oh, now that I think of it, General White said he was going to Far Outpost soon. But first he said he was going to meet Gold Bob. Or not meet him. Or something like that. Hey, lady with the black dress. An overwhelming win. I'm sure Prince Mush was duly impressed with your win as well. Yes, young Mush is doing quite well, all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Wait a minute. This lady is so pretty, I wonder what her name is. She com enjoys her juice in the corner alone. What is it that mysterious women do to become so mysterious? What a mystery. Hello, Gold Bob. Ah, Gonzalez. General White was here just a moment ago. But you had the thing I wanted to give him. What a rotten bit of luck. He said he was headed back to Far Outpost. That General White is a fine bob -omb, but he does tend to wander. And once he's asleep, it's near impossible to wake him, don't you know? Oh, I know it, all right. I told him to stay out and awake, so get over to Far Outpost. Sorry about that. Okay, well, if we're going to Far Outpost, I actually need to stop at Creepy Steeple first. Oh, okay. I caught it in midair and the game froze for a second. Yes, but that's all I needed. It was the golden leaf, and now it's time to go all the way back. Cool moonwalk. Oh yes, also I lied. Um, there's one last thing I need to do here, and that's grab another peachy peach. I would like to stay for ten coins. And now that we're back at General White's house, if I can get in, please. This guy... General White said he would sleep when he returned. Pow! And he still sleeps! Kapow! Well, we know how to wake him up, don't we? Another 20 jumps, perhaps? Three... Four... Five... And it's the same messages, too. 
So they uh, they just thought that it was so funny <laughs> to do this that uh, you get to do it twice. But this time Yoshi's on the bed, so that's a little bonus. Huh. Hut, hello Mario. Would you do you need something? What? A delivery from Goldbob. You came all that way to bring it to me? Well, thank you for that. I'll take it off your hands. The package. Ah, yes, well delivered. So you'll go fetch your reward, I assume. Say hello to Goldbob when you see him. Well then, perhaps I'll go check on my cannon. <laughs> so it's not quite done yet. We now have to return all the way back to Apostle Heights, but fortunately, um, that's not that bad. My peace of mind is all thanks to you. Hut hut, I'm so grateful. Hello, Goldbug, for the third time this fetch quest. Did you find General White? I see, and he received it. Good. Thanks, Gonzalez. Here's your reward. 64 coins. Awesome. For that much money, you could um, really do anything, and it would take less time. Gob, I can't speak. I've lost my voice because of this stupid, stuffy cold. Yaboomski. I want somebody to bring me some honey candy. Yapow. Great for the throat, I hear. I think you can make it by combining cake mix and honey syrup. Ya chow. I'll be waiting for you next to the snowman in Far Outpost. Ya, ya blamo. Okay, well, good thing I already have a honey pop. Honey candy. Uh, in my inventory. This guy. Gob? Yes. That's terrible. I think about that. And I'll give you the honey candy. Ah, finally I can speak. Ya pow. I had been exploding so much that I completely lost voice. Ya bluey. Thanks, ya crackety. Here's a token of my appreciation. Ya boom. And he gives us 20 coins. And the final one. I must meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain in Poshley Heights for details. Okay. Well, we wouldn't want to fool her, would we? So the L emblem comes off. And conveniently, we're put right here. Hello! So you accepted my request for trouble help. I thought maybe it'd be Luigi. Oh well, so could you bring him here, maybe? I'm a huge, huge fan of his. I just have to meet him, and I want to give him a cake. I have to give him a cake. Okay, bring Luigi here, got it? Well, we don't necessarily have direct control of Luigi. So I guess there's only one thing we can do. Yeek! I can tell! I can totally tell! I've never met him before, but I can absolutely tell! You're the real Luigi! Ah! I knew it! This is so cool! Oh my gosh! What should I say? Ah! I'm totally freaking out him out! I'm freaking out Luigi! Oh no! What should I do? Oh, right! Duh! 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 The cake! The one I baked was a total loss, but Zesty did a great job on this one. Here you go, Mr. Luigi! Please take this! You get a choco cake. Hey, bro, say, what are you, why are you dressed like me? Hey, who, who do you think you are, you filthy imposter? Police! What? I'm no imposter, I'm Luigi. Hey, say something, Mario. Eek! Ew, 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 he's so much like Luigi, it's creepy. He's trying to masquerade as Luigi to interrupt our special time together. That's crazy. This is a nightmare. A bad dream. I I won't believe it. Wake up. Ah, no way. I know I wasn't supposed to see that. No way. Don't don't worry about it. Oh, thanks. R really, Luigi, you're so sweet. And thanks for coming today. I'll always treasure these moments. Always. So please, come see me again, okay? You solved the trouble. Where did the cake go? Did I have room in my inventory? I think I did. Okay. 
Oh wow, you came again. Luigi remembers me. Luigi remembers me. Okay, great. And to finish the episode, we're doing cooking time again. Mostly to empty out my inventory, but also to cross quite a few uh, kind of tricky ones off the list. Um, so the first one of these is actually kind of a special one. The ice Storm and the Golden Leaf together. Sorry to keep you waiting. And this makes the Snow Bunny, which refills 15 FP, but also freezes you, perhaps? Did it say that? Yes. Okay, so, not very good. But, let's see what happens when we combine it with a spicy stew that I have to make. So we're gonna go hot and cold. And the hot and cold, the fire and ice. And it, <laughs> it makes an icy hot spray. Not really, though. Instead, it makes the couple's cake, the thing that uh, the, that Goomba on Kill Hall Key gave us and we left alone. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is kind of an interesting one. We're going to do Point Swap, which swaps your partner's HP and FP. I think you can also use it on Mario, uh, which is a very interesting thing to use normally. But it has a whole range of cooking... Uh, ingredients that are not counted in the log and are just kind of weird. But one specifically that we want is with the slow shroom. And so while this cooks I'll throw up uh, the the rest of the things that you can make with the point swap. So, this one makes the poison shroom. Eat it and it'll poison you. Kind of an interesting thing to make. Um, but, that should be all we need to make this next one. Yes. Poison shroom and the couple's cake. So going complete opposites to make the couple's cake, and then even more complete opposites to make perhaps the triple's cake. This is the trial stew. Amazing food made by Zesty yields incredible results. And by incredible results, it means it brings your HP to one, your FP to 1, and your SP to full. Dangerous, but if you're going even more hardcore, and instead of doing Power Rush, doing uh, Mega Rush, and having a whole bunch of Mega Rush badges, um, this item will immediately bring you into range. And your partner can use it on Mario, so... These next two are kind of interesting, and I'll do them together because they're really similar. It's the Ice Storm, and then the Honey Syrup, and the Maple Syrup, separately. So this gives you an Icicle Pop, and also the Zest Frappe. And now we're on to the Cake Mix recipes. So Cake Mix and Inky Sauce. This makes the Choco Cake that we just got from that other thing, but I've already sold that one. And this one will also be being sold. Actually, maybe not. 5 HP and 15 FP. That's not bad, but it does take inky sauce, which is kind of hard to get, and heals way more FP. The next cake is going to be the peachy peach. This gives us the peach tart. Makes you electrified, dodgy, or sleepy. So that one's also being sold, uh, because we are automatically electrified and dodgy, and we don't want to be sleepy. Cake mix, and an ultra shroom, gives you the shroom crepe. 30 HP and 20 FP, so it's quite good, but it does lose a little bit from that, uh... A little bit of HP off the Ultra Shroom. 
And the final cake is with the jam and jelly, so the other ultimate healing. And this is the jelly candy, which heals 64 FP. That's the most of any item in the game. Uh, the next thing is mystic egg, and any regular mushroom will do. Uh, the super shroom will also work, as well as the ultra shroom, and life shroom at that. Uh, and also the horse tail, if you remember the horse tail. This is the omelette meal. And the final thing that we're going to cook tonight is a little bit of a weird one. We're going to go keel mango and turtley leaf. Now watch what this makes. The Koopa bun. Punishes 15 FP. So kind of weird. But that should be it for all of the food things that we've got. Uh, well, not it, because there's still a couple more, but I will leave those um, for the post game because we did a whole bunch this episode, and a lot of the ones that we still have to do are just these mushroom ones. So technically, we only have two that we haven't done yet, and we could make them right now, but I might as well leave it for then. Um, let's go ahead and sell... I already sold the, the shroom crepe. The jelly candy also sells for 100, so does the crepe, but the jelly candy, I figure, has some, some fun to it. 5 HP and 5 FP, it's actually not so bad. Um... Ink pasta, honestly, we could get away with selling for 80 coins. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry, uh, no, I'll, I'll keep it, it's funny. Stop. Okay, that should be it. So, in the next episode... We are going to go down to the Thousand Year Door and see what is going on now that it was somehow opened even without the Crystal Stars. So until then, this has been Dean from Valhapai. Peace out.